Hey, this is Monday, February 8th, and Tuesday, February 9th. We're going to do a wee bit of reviewy thing and get into other stuff. And apparently, shut your child. Uh, NWEA time. Tomorrow is NWEA math. Unless you're watching this on Tuesday, then tomorrow is um, words are hard. Uh, I updated whatever you call those things. Grades and uh, B points. Updated over to there. Uh, NWEA tests all this week to keep life all kinds of fun. And then let's see, we have blue sheet, the white sheet. What's up, meow meow? I need water. Um, hang on, watch out. Hang on, I have a tripwire. to do that way. My tripwire there is my thing. All right. <laughs> what? Hang on, one second. We have a small interruption. There is a cat child running around my room. <laughs> it's coming across. Hey, there's a bottle on my Your desk. Your just took one of those. Jermaine just smell like hot on. Cheetos in a hallway or something? <laughs> My God, Jermaine, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this makes no Anyway, continuing on. So I put a thing on screen. This is what I sent out to the parents. Like email is also what I sent out uh, to you guys via for mine. So this is what the change is moving forward for both you guys here and the kids at home. Cheers. Starting... <laughs> Put that on my desk. We'll recycle it so we don't just throw it away. Good eating. So now, those of you at home and you are on Zoom, you are going to have to not only keep camera on, but also keep your face on the camera. Because last week was the week that finally broke me when I had a whole bunch of kids on both Wednesday and Thursday explain they had no idea what was going on in class because they spent all of the class time playing video games. And so because of that, and I also then on Friday went through and looked at my grades and I figured almost, I think, 95% of my kids who are not passing my class are the kids who don't have their cameras on during the Zoom. So I figured if there's a connection, we're going to have to start forcing you guys to have cameras on during Zoom. And I have to actually see your face because I have a bunch of kids who just put the top of their forehead on there. And I had kids in my best explain to me that that's how they get away playing video games. Because uh, I was like, you're on my Zoom. I see, like, oh, no, I just put the camera on my forehead, and I can just sit there and play video games the whole time during class. And I'm like, oh, thank you, dumb kid, for ratting yourself out. I appreciate that. That's basic. So now I have to be able to see your face and stuff like that. You know, is it going to be like this forever? My goal is hopefully not, but I'm going to try and see how things move forward from here and then blah, 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 torturing kids trying to find a change. Those of you who are alive, it doesn't really impact you nearly as much. Home children, same thing to impact you. Now, if you need to disappear to go to Tinkletown, that's fine. Just put it in the chat. Tinkletown, here I come, and off you go. <laughs> uh, or if you need to take a break for a moment, you can just put it in the chat. Take a break, your ugly mug, uh, and then that's fine. And then you can disappear for a few minutes, and that's fine with me. But if your like, few minutes goes on for like 10, 15 minutes, then I'm not going to ask for you. I'm just going to remove you. Uh, and then when you come back in, turn on camera, and you're good to go. So I'm trying, still not going into ogre mode, just trying to make sure I can do the whole kids paying attention mode. That's my whole goal with it. All right. And then there, let's see. Uh, oh, for the reviewing thing from Friday, just to run through it, do I have kids I have to torture in here? I do. Jerry L, you have your iPad? Yay! Up you go, Jerry L. So you can work on it. Uh, it's there. And skipping class, and skipping class, and skipping class. And that's it. So then, yeah, there you go. It's good to go. Yeah, there you go. So then log into it. We'll have you get to answer the questions as we get to go through it. So what a happy day. And then we'll get a quick step around if I can. Yes. Oh, you get to get your hair done. That's legit. Oh, I mean, way to show off. You don't have you do? You're on campus. Cats ain't tired. Pay no attention to the cat child that just randomly ran through. They're making me do so much work. Is that why you're drinking so much? What are you doing? You have a drinking problem. What are you doing? What are you doing next? So, Leah, when you laugh, that only encourages me. All right. And then it's fine. There you go. All right. Let's run through and help a child. Very thirsty child. Apparently. You should have, like, a giant disco bottle that we fill with water that you bring with you. Disco bottle. Wait, you do have a giant that never mind. So, running through here. Did you get signed in yet? Why are you running on like that? We're going to go to the answer. I'm trying to help you out. So my goal with these first two was, oh, by the way, this is my child, in case you're running through the random kid that you keep wondering. Watch out for the tripwire. Oh, that's your kid. Uh, you know that. Okay, 
Wait, do you have two kids that are in this? No, I just one. one. I have one child that I have a whole bunch of eighth graders who just randomly come into my room and sort of treat me like a parent. I only have one that I have to deal with on a nightly basis. The other one's just like me. I don't know. Are you good now? This child? <laughs> Cheers, part two. <laughs> come back again. Yeah, oh, yeah it's going to be a part three. Yeah. <laughs> Same in this. 
And if you did, wrong. you just send me an email. I it's can go back. Uh, it's Victor Royale. Yeah. Yeah. Size are my favorite weapon in video in video that's games, so that's why I want rice. Mine are potatoes. Uh, and let's see. Uh, what curse does Ernest put on Cronus?
So where do they build it? Mount Olympus. Yes, correct. How many thrones on Mount Olympus? One. One. Two. Twelve. Twelve. Because if there was one throne, they're all sitting on each other's laps, and that gets real awkward real fast. <laughs> Um, and so they're each one had their own throne that they got to sit on that brings down the awkwardness levels just a little bit. And then let's see. Oh, why was Mother Earth still upset even after grandbabies? Because Grand all the guy was there because they, she wants all the kids back from Tartarus. Is correct. She wants her kids back from Tartarus, and Father Sky says no. And so what does she decide to do to Father Sky? Make so this is where she decides murder. to hire and do the whole murder murder thing. Who is it she chooses oh, no. as the assassin? Cronus. It's correct. Cronus with the red Cronus. name. I know. Uh, red is sus. Uh, that's for Cronus. Ooh. Uh, like we're playing a game of uh, uh, Clue. Uh, among Us. Uh, not Among Us. Clue. Different game. Uh -huh. We know who it is. It's it Cronus, Cronus with a fight on the edge of the world. And when does it happen? <laughs> At night. It's correct. When Bossy tried to hug. It's like you guys ever played Clue. You put a little thing out there and you're like, it's like Colonel Mustard the with the thing. And, and so Colonel it was Cronus on the edge of the world with the living room. <laughs> Someone greased my side handle. <laughs> so I went out and got a new side that was stronger than the other one because the other one was like flopping around. So now I can swing my side around without worrying about it breaking or anything like that. But and there's it a good chance that it will at me and I'm going to try to Listen, it's me. not like it's going to fly out of my. <laughs> Probably, probably a good one. Uh, so I have the new side that Kronos uses to attack his father. Uh, let's see. Choppy, choppy, jumping uppy. Oh, every time he jumps up and chops into Kronos, what happens? A new being appears. These the chucks come down and hit the earth, and that's when new gods come in. That is going to be part of the god titans that are up there are going to connect. Some of them are just random monsters and stuff like that. And it chases them to the end before Uranus disappears off the edge of the the earth, what does he give to Cronus? A curse. Nicely. What does the curse say? What, what he was just on a Lego piece in the middle of the night. Is correct. So one of his children will overthrow him, so on and so forth to the end of time. Uh, apparently someone really enjoyed that question I put on there. I appreciate you for quoting back to my question from the <laughs> test. So now, here's where we get to continue our new story. So Cronus is now king of all the gods. And he immediately goes back up to Mount Olympus, points at all the other times, like, hey, I am king of all of you because I killed daddy. <laughs> and all the other guys go, okay, that's cool. Now. And so he gets to become the new god. Now, what was the whole point in him overthrowing Uranus? What was he supposed to do? Become the god of God. Getting there. <laughs> Why does mom want him to overthrow? Oh, to get the kids back. The back. Yeah, to get the kids kids back. So she immediately reminds me, she's like, hey, good job. You killed your father. We're proud of you. Now go free your brothers. He's like, oh yeah, how do I go about doing that? She goes, all right, so here's how you go about getting down to it. So what you're going to do is there's this path in this mountain that leads you all the way down. You're going to find this place named Tartarus, which is this big pit underground, giant doors, throw open giant doors. You're going to find your brothers in there, and then you release them. I was like, that's easy. He was, he was like, how, how will I recognize him? She's like, oh, you'll know them. He's like, oh, okay. Then off Cronus goes like, I'm king of the gods, I'm king of the gods, gonna meet my brothers. And goes down the little path, finds the gigantic doors, <laughs> throws open the giant doors, oh, walks yeah. into Tartarus. He's like, my name is Cronus. I am the new king of all the gods, gods, gods. He's like, wow, this is a big room. He's like, ooh, big pit. And walks over this giant pit in the middle of the room. He's like, hey, I'm the new king of all the gods, and you guys are all holy crap. He looks in the pit and goes, what are those? And Mother Earth goes, those are your brothers. They're who you're here to free. He's like, uh, that looks like a car wreck come to life. He's like, we can't let that thing out. He's like, I'm going to throw up to remembering what it looked like. She goes, well, that was the whole point in you doing this overthrow and killing your father thing was to free them. Kronos goes, oh, you probably should have shown me a picture first because those can't come free. If those things come up onto Earth, we're just going to be throwing up everywhere. How about, I have a new idea. Mother goes, what's your new idea? He goes, how about this instead? How about we leave them in the pit and I lock the door and pretend I never saw them and just 
just go back up and become king. She goes, well, well, that's not a good deal at all. He goes, yeah, but that's what's going to happen. And he backs out, closes the door behind him, and leaves the big ugly monsters and the cyclops locked down there in the pit. Refuses to release them. Mother Earth is furious, but again, no arms, so she can't do anything about it. So instead, she begins to plot her revenge. She's like, ooh, that Cronus, I'm going to get back at him. But she bides her time until the right time to make it happen. Cronus now becomes the new king of all the gods. So at this point, he decides that he needs a squad. And so there's three brothers that he decides to start hanging out with. And he makes them like his crew that he gets to relax with. So the first one is a guy by the name of Prometheus. And Prometheus is the first one that he brings in. Because Prometheus, turns out, is super smart. He is going to be the smartest god to ever exist in all of Greek mythology. The reason why he's so smart is he had the ability to see the future. Like a Marvel superhero. He'd be like, run, 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 run. You're going to burn Like, what? Nothing. He could see <laughs> what was going to happen before it did. His name literally meant forward thought. The PRO means forward or advanced. Methi meant thinking. So he could think forward into the future. And so Kronos goes, you know what? I'm probably going to get myself into a lot of trouble. So I'm going to need someone to help me. Prometheus, you're in. Prometheus goes, all right. But if I join your group, I have to bring my brother with me. He's like, who's your brother? He goes, a guy by the name of Epimetheus. He's like, all right, you can bring Epimetheus. He's like, is he as smart as you are? Epimetheus goes, kind of. If by smart, you mean dumb. Uh, I'm super smart, and he's super dumb. And Kronos goes, oh, that's, that's a superpower? Epimetheus is like, yeah, that's a superpower. So here's how Epimetheus worked. It wasn't so much that he was super dumb, is that he could not see the future. Prometheus could see into the future. Epimetheus could not, which made him dumb. Now, I know you're worried. Your first thought is, Mr. Bobby, I can't see the future. Does that make me dumb? No, no, no. You guys are dumb for completely different reasons. <laughs> the reason that you guys can see the future, whether you realize it or not, you have an ability to see the future, and I can prove it through a science experiment. Kids at home, you can do this science experiment right away. The living children, you're going to have to wait till you get home. Here's how you do the science experiment. It'll show that you can see the future. Go to your kitchen, find this thing called a stove, and you want to turn on the top burners. The little thing that you use like to cook macaroni and cheese and hopefully not burn it. That's what you're going to turn on the top. Wait till you see one of them get really bright red. Take your right hand and just slap it down on top of that red and then count to like three or four and you're going to pull your hand back off. Then take your left hand. You're going to slap it back down on that same red circle. There is a chance for some of you, before your left hand makes contact, your brain is going to go, oh God, no, don't make me do that. Because you're seeing in the future. And you know what you did to this hand is also going to happen to this hand. That's called seeing the future. Now, realize some of you are so good at seeing the future, you're not even going to put your right hand on there. You're going to go, ah, uh, no, I'm, I'm going to burn myself. I'm going to go, oh, look at you seeing the future like a big old smart kid. Some of you aren't even going to turn on the stove. You're going to go right now, Mr. Roby, you're an idiot. Exactly. Yeah. That's because you can see the future. Now realize, with Epimetheus, the game goes completely differently. For Epimetheus, it goes slap, oh god, that, ooh, slap, no, why, ooh, slap, and just repeatedly over and over and over again until he's out of hands. And so that was why Kronos brings him in. He was like, exactly, you saw my game work. And so Kronos is like, this guy is hilarious. Because imagine, you bring the guy in, and you go, Epimetheus. Wall. He's like, ah! <laughs> and just runs into it and falls backwards. You're like, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Epimetheus, other wall. He's like, I got this. I got this. Just runs into it. You're talking hours of entertainment right there. And he's like, keeps going, whack, whack, <laughs> popcorn. And so Epimetheus was great. Then we bring in third brother, a guy by the name of Atlas. 
And Atlas was not super smart, not super dumb. He was super strong. He is going to be the strongest Titan to ever exist in Greek mythology. He was their version of the Incredible Hulk. He went around just yelling, Atlas, smash! And then picking up other gods and smashing them back and forth and being like, beauty god! And then throwing them onto the ground and stuff like that. It was classic. Jerry L. Isn't Atlas the one that lifted up the earth? Yep, we're going to get to that. That's going to happen. You get the jet no, well, one, don't you throw the R word at me, and two, just don't. I mean, not being able to see the future, but he does play a fun role in some stories coming up. Then, uh, I think let me finish this part before the eighth graders come in here. So, the last thing is, Cronus, no, I'll save it for Wednesday, it's a bit longer. We're going to create, so remind me, we need to create humans. So we're going to create that. So we're a little bit behind with you guys, but I'll blame myself on that one. A human. So we're going to create humans coming up with you guys. All right. See you guys Wednesday. You guys survive Monday.